Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest update for Pixel Experience. Yes, we have received an official version of Pixel Experience for our Juice or Kime devices. Many thanks for Herobox for um, maintaining the ROM for our beloved devices. Now, we all know about the Pixel Experience. We know how it looks, we know how it feels because we had been using the Pixel Experience ROM for some time now unofficially and it's a great ROM. Now once it had been to, uh, it had been changed the status to official version, I feel the ROM is smoother now and the ROM is also really great in terms of battery backup too. Let me show you the battery backup that I got from the ROM. I have flashed the ROM yesterday, so basically you can see um, the uh, the entire usage over here. Uh, I'm not sure if it is a great, uh, um, great, uh, great thing or great uh, battery backup, but this looks fine to me. I mean, or this looks okay, somewhat okay for me. So that is how the battery backup looks like. Now, to talk about the Pixel Experience ROM, you won't be having any kind of customization over anywhere. So um, that is something that you have to keep in mind when looking to flash this ROM. Uh, now, uh, one more thing that I've done is I have disabled some applications also in the uh, which comes by installed default or something like that. So basically, um, if you want to, you know, save up some battery, maybe you can disable some unnecessary Google services which are uh, there. Now coming to the security, you can see that the ROM is encrypted. Now with the screen unlock, you won't get the quick unlock thing, but you will get the scrambled layout thing. So that is about it. And um, finally, once you come to the system, you can customize the gestures so these are the following customization options that are available with the room now you can select three modes of navigation two button three button and gesture navigation under the gesture navigation you can hide the gesture indicator or if you want to enable it definitely you can do that and but there isn't any um, any way to you know increase the pill size but so you have you it is better to disable it now that is about the navigation thing and uh, coming to next is the button so basically you will have the system navigation uh, function again over there so basically you will have some um, basic uh, functions over here then to status bar you can enable or disable network traffic monitor then you can customize the um, status bar icons then tap to sleep is here clock position you cannot customize the clock position since we have a notes over here so uh, show seconds if you want to show up the seconds and you can customize the battery status style brightness slider that's it so basically the rom doesn't have we can say that the rom doesn't have any customization at all um, now the the kernel that is being used by this uh, used in this rom is it is the kind r too. Uh, if the ROM is on the latest security update and I feel like the ROM is quite smooth. Now these all are the applications that I have installed in the ROM. As you can see that the banking applications work fine without any issues. So there you go. Now coming to the other areas like if you are an Indian user you can use the GPay or phone pay without any issues. Now going to the Play Store, as you can see that the Play Store is already certified. You can see it over here, the device is certified. Now coming to the DRM Info, let's take a look at the DRM Info. Now you can see that it is on L12. Then going to the device information, let's take a look at the device information. As you can see, it's 14.19.157 Kine. So as I've told you that it is using the Kine R2. Then coming to the system, you can see that the system uses um, Citrus Go Global um, Fingerprint. So there isn't any issues um, that is going to happen with the um, with the banking application. Then the build type is User 2. So that is my review about this particular ROM. What are my uh, impressions about the ROM? One, the ROM is super smooth and i am somewhat happy with the uh, with the battery backup too 
so i would say that if you prefer to have a smooth rom um, without any lag and stuff like that of course you can choose oh, pixel experience many roms are out there and uh, i find pixel experience to be more good and i do really enjoy the rom one more function which i just want to show to you is that under the sound and vibration you can have the direct sound enhancer so basically um, you can um, you can have this so that much is about the uh, rom once again i would like to thank uh, herobox for maintaining the rom for our beloved um, cam device and uh, i would like to thank you for watching my rom review please make sure